before we begin this video is sponsored by my patreon due to youtube's inconsistent monetization standards my entire channel has been demonetized and i am unable to make any money off of my own videos and i can't even make any money through super chat donations on live streams anymore so if you love what I do on my channel and you want to support the channel so I can continue to make videos, please check out my Patreon. Not only does every donation help support the channel, but you get all kinds of cool rewards and privileges such as movie night, free 3D art made by yours truly, and many more. So please check it out if you love the channel and let's get started with this video hello and welcome back to another episode of serial vault and today we're going to be talking about the twinkie serial now if you follow my channel i made a community post showing that the last time i went grocery shopping i had picked up the brand new twinkie serial to review because one thing I really want to do with this series is highlight a lot of the really weird flavors of cereal. And I wish I could say that this is a weird flavored cereal, but sadly, I'm extremely disappointed. And this may end up being a short episode because really, there's not a lot to say about this cereal. Even my little brother said it was horrible. Like, it's really not good. Like, I don't know where to start. I mean, I guess where I can start is the most important thing. What does it taste like? Well, it tastes like vanilla wafers. If you've ever had those cookies, it tastes kind of like that. Except hard with a sandy kind of texture. Like, imagine eating a vanilla... Imagine taking a vanilla wafer, covering it in sand leaving it out for a few days to where it gets really, really hard, and then pouring milk on it and trying to eat it. That's honestly what it tastes like. And the hard texture doesn't help either. My little brother described it as extremely dry, no matter how much milk he poured into it, and that's certainly not a good sign because most good cereals should not be that way. And I don't get how this went wrong because almost everything about this cereal fails. It's too hard. It has a weird sand-like texture to it. It has no gimmick, like for example, no cream, no marshmallows, nothing. And all it tastes like is vanilla wafers. I guess if you really like vanilla wafers, maybe get this cereal. But even saying that is being far too generous because for about three to four dollars, you could just get yourself a box of vanilla wafers without the weird texture. This cereal would have greatly benefited from some kind of filling or marshmallows of some kind like all they would have had to do is if you're familiar with the crave cereal all they had to do was copy that to make it into a little twinkie shape and have like some kind of filling inside of it like the crave cereal and it would have been a lot better because it would have actually tasted like a Twinkie. I think that's the most offensive part about it. It doesn't actually taste like a Twinkie. It tastes like a vanilla wafer. And how do you fuck that up? That just seems like the worst thing to fail at is to not even have your cereal taste like what it's supposed to taste like. I mean, at the very least with that corn pop cereal, it at least tasted like peanut butter. I could at least give it that. But I can't say that here. It doesn't taste like Twinkies at all. And the texture sucks. The hardness is no good. And believe it or not, I'm not joking when I say this, but it actually makes the milk taste worse. Now, if you're a cereal connoisseur like me, you will know that a lot of the really good cereals out there, like 
Cocoa Puffs, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Cocoa Pebbles will change the flavor of the milk somewhat because a lot of its sweetness will seep into the milk and you get a sweet little drink afterwards after eating all the cereal. You don't get that with this. I don't know how you make a cereal that somehow makes the milk taste worse. How do you fail that hard at this? How did this go so wrong? I don't understand it because the Honey Bun cereal is actually pretty good. And I'll definitely get into that in a later episode, but how is it that the Honey Bun cereal turned out fine, but the Twinkie cereal is a complete disaster? What happened here? Did they just have no idea what they were doing? Or did they just say fuck it? Because that's what it feels like. It feels like no effort went into the cereal, and I'm disappointed because I wish I had more to say about it. At least with the peanut butter corn pops, I at least had a lot to say about it, and there was at least some positives to it. For example, it had a very natural peanut butter taste to it, rather than an artificial peanut butter taste. But this doesn't even taste like Twinkies. It tastes like really, really shitty vanilla wafers. Like, I'm not even going to give this cereal the time of day by even ranting about it because it doesn't even deserve a rant. Death Battle is more worthy of my ranting time than this cereal that didn't even put any effort into it. My final rating for this cereal is a sandy vanilla wafer out of 10 because that's exactly what it tastes like. It's a complete failure in every single category, it gets absolutely nothing right. The texture is wrong, the hardness is wrong, it doesn't naturally soften if it's in milk long enough, it doesn't taste like what it's supposed to taste like, and it somehow makes your milk taste worse. Please do not go get this cereal. If you do want some Hostess cereal, go out and get the Honey Bun cereal. Don't waste your time with this, it's an absolute waste of money and my only regret is is that I can't get a refund because I've already opened the box. Fuck me. Well, next time around we're going to talk about a more classic cereal flavor that will probably be more worth our time. However, let me know what you think about the Twinkie cereal. Do you actually like it? and maybe it's just not really my kind of taste? Or do you agree with me that this cereal is an absolute failure in every way, shape, and form? Let me know what you think and leave any suggestions for cereals you would like me to review in the future, and I'll see you guys around for the next video. There's a drop.